My Gaming Asia Congress is the meeting place for the online gaming community in the region. Register now and learn how to navigate in the gambling industry's most important market. This is Becky Legiro. I'm here with George Mangion, who just gave a presentation on the Asian market at the Legal Gaming in Europe Summit. So what got you involved in the Asian market to begin with? I come from Malta and um, t 10 years ago um, uh, Malta was more or less in the uh, up market to introduce the, these um, online gaming. It took us five years from the inception lobbying the politicians to go forward to actually start reaping and, and produce any licenses. And I know that China is also in that part. It's about to take the first step to a long journey and we've been watching it for five years now. Okay, so I know in your presentation you were saying that Europe is closing, it's, it's almost a dead market uh, and Asia is where people are looking. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Well, because of the recession after the collapse of Lehman Brothers in 2008, um, I mean, there's been less money in the pockets, you know, and there's also there's been a situation where um, um, markets have been either too prohibitive or else in fighting between European countries. So there's the recession, there's less money in the pocket, and there's countries wanting to grab more tax from their natives, making um, uh, expansion rather difficult. So why Asia? Why are you looking there? You know, Asia looks like the clean place where you can go and enjoy it yeah. even better. Then, of course, Asia has its own idiosyncrasies, its own, its own culture. Okay, so what's the gambling culture like in these Asian countries? It is almost spiritual for them to take a gamble, to take a flutter. They like more skill games. They don't like, they like table games. They don't like slots. But the, the difficulty is that they like to use cash. Whereas in, in Europe, uh, credit cards and checks and money transfers are more the normal. Okay, so what kind of revenues are we talking about in Asia? What kind of revenues, what kind of growth? We are talking in, in billions and, and it's all very relative. Um, uh, and some say that 70 billion, you know, it's an easy um, uh, figure to feel. The Philippines is unique when it comes to the gambling world. Why is that? Philippines in 2000, in Kajan, they did an experiment. They said, we have the free ports, and if we let the, uh, overseas um, operators to come in, they can come in and they can, uh, we can give them licenses, both for online gaming and also for casinos. The tax rates were reasonable, and at the moment there are more than 40 online gaming licenses in uh, First Kajan. Uh, don't forget that these licenses allow only foreigners so if you are, if you've got a license in Kajan, you cannot offer your services to the natives, to the locals. So why are you presenting uh, about Asia in a conference that is focusing on Europe? In Europe, we are in a, shall we say, on a plateau. This is a time where one is um, counting your fortunes and looking for opportunities. This is a time where pioneers get off their seats and go and yonder, go yonder. And uh, Asia could be very much the place for pioneers. That sounds fantastic, George. Thank you very much for joining me. Pleasure. This Thank is you. Becky Legiro with George Mangian. Thanks for watching calvinair.com.